Hi you guys, welcome back to my garden. In today's video, we're going to be planting up a pair of concrete containers. Now, first, let's get in and let's look at these beautiful concrete containers. Now, we have a pair of two here. They're similar. The only difference between the two is one is smaller than the other. So if I don't get my concrete pieces where they're the same size, I will get them where one is larger, one is smaller, and the same thing when I have a group of three. I will get them where one is smaller, one tears down from there, and the other one tears down. So we have this other container here. So these are the two containers that we're gonna be planting up. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple of tips and tricks and just a few different ways that you can save money when you're planting up containers. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm going to add just a simple coffee filter at the bottom. And what the coffee filter is gonna do is it's gonna help prevent soil from leaking out of the bottom of the container. I have my coffee filters here, so I'm just gonna go in and put two of these in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set this off the smaller one off to the side, and then we'll start working on the big one. So we'll have room to work. Because we're gonna have to do a little bit of work to get the look that we're looking for in these containers. So we'll go ahead and we'll get our soil inside of there. So since this container is so large, I'm definitely not going to take my big scooper here and scoop all of that soil in there. So we're going to take the bag of soil. Alright, so we're going to need uh, more than just one bag for, for this big pot here. off to the side and all right you guys so our first plant is really beautiful right now I could take this one full plant and pop it just in there by itself and then just come around the front that's not creative enough because what I want to do is I want to incorporate some of the elements from this container into that container but I didn't need one full plant so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of work on this plant. So we're going to take this, and this is actually considered kind of like a decorative container. So you can toss these, you can keep them. It may come in handy down the line somewhere. So what we're going to do, if we go in and we look at this plant, now it's three, it's three lock spurring here, right? So we have three of these. So let me get in close and show you. Do you guys see my hand coming out through there waving at you guys right here? So we're going to come in and we're going to make a division in this plant where it naturally divides it. See where the knife just came out. Can you guys see that? This is where I'm going to make my first cut, right? So I'm going to cut it in. And we're going to go ahead and lay this on its side real quick. So you guys can see it. So I'm going to just come in and just go ahead and just make a cut, right? All the way down to the bottom. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in on the other side here. So if I'm looking, you see I have a natural division right here. And so I'm going to come in and again, I'm going to make the same cut. Okay. So we're going to cut that all the way down. We're going to make that all the way down, okay? Right? Then we're going to come in and go right in the middle here. We're going to cut that. We're going to slowly just pull this apart. We're going to start working that apart just slowly. You see that? You just take your time. 
go on the other side you want to just slowly just kind of pull it apart and then here's our first plant okay so we have one here have our first division right here so now that we have our first plant let's go ahead and set that off to the side you guys so we'll set that here so now the first thing I'm going to go in and add my slow release fertilizer All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this first plant, plant where it's backed up against the back. Next, I'm gonna add a blanket flower, okay? And so with the blanket flower, this is hardy down to zones five to nine. I just love it. Or it's also known as Gallardia. So now I'm gonna come in, you guys. This is one of my favorite flowers. I use this in my garden every year, and it is a lemon coral sedum. Baby, the way the foliage of this looks. Now, with the lemon coral sedum, you can actually see it has the blooms on there. We don't want that. So, the only thing we have to do to fix that is quite simple. A better example of what the flower is. Can you guys see that? Let me get up close to the camera so you guys can see this beautiful, angelic yellow flower. All right, so if you can see that flower and how beautiful it is, while it's gorgeous, we I am not growing it for that. I am growing this so I can get a beautiful display of this beautiful foliage here. So this is the color. We are just going to tuck that beautiful chartreuse green foliage here. And we are going to clip off a little bit more because we don't want that. And by us clipping it off, what is going to happen is we're going to get a lot of growth. For me, lemon coral sedum is in my garden until about, mm, I think last year I had her in there maybe to December, January. I will have to look and see. Okay, and then we have just a little bit more in the front where we got to cut the blooms off. Alright, so we have that going here. So, if you guys see, the Super Tunia Royal Velvet is a very deep, dark, rich purple. And so, we're going to incorporate a little bit of that as well. Come in with the Air Romance Pink Nemesia. And so this is going to give us some upright over here on this side of this container, which we are needing that. So we're going to come in and we're going to add that right there on the side. Can you guys see where we came in and we added this? It says, it's advertising it as a pink, but it has kind of like a lavender, a lilac color that gives you almost kind of like that pinkish lavender feel. And I think it'll be great for the area where it's going. We're going to come in with another trailing plant, a Super Tunia Vista Snowdrift, right? And so I am going to be cutting this plant back here. All right, now I'm going to go in and add a bit more soil here in the middle. Now we have this container planted. We'll go ahead and get the second container up on the table. So let's move this one off to the side. And yes, it is extremely heavy now that we have went in and we have added all of this soil and these plants, this concrete pot is heavy, honey. So let's make way for our next container here. So we've already went in and we've added our coffee filter. So what we're gonna do now, you know what? This does not have a drain hole in the bottom of it. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to put your drain holes if you don't have them. And this goes for concrete pots, ceramic pots, any type of pot that you have, plastic pots. This is how you go in and add a drain hole to the bottom of it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Hold it. 
the bottom of it. We're gonna go ahead and just get the soil in there real quick. Quick question, I wanna know, do you guys use a slow release fertilizer when you plant up your containers? Let me know down in the comment box. I love to hear about it. Other, okay, so let's let that fill out. You guys, we're gonna use a luscious berry blend and this is a lantana. You guys, one flower that I cannot go without having in my garden every single year are lantanas. Now last year, Sherwood's Forest, he had some lantana trees, you guys. Lantanas in a standard form. And when I tell you all the way up into the first hard frost, I had beautiful blooms on my lantana. It was just gorgeous and beautiful. So I'm gonna scoot that more here so it doesn't compete with this blanket flower because you guys, the blanket flower is in a low right now, but when I tell you, it really just performs. We have our lantana in there. And so all of this leggy growth, we wanna come in and we wanna cut all that off, okay? And even if you cut off some of the tops, it's okay. So I'm just gonna clip all of this excess growth off real quick. And the only thing it's gonna do is it's gonna make sure that I have a, just a more vigorous show. Cause I want my lemon coral sedum to be more on the compact side. So I'll just clip that off and then we're gonna come along and we're gonna add that right here on the side. Super Tunia Vista Snowdrift. And I refer to it as a Super Tunia White because that's the color of it. I'm gonna pop that right here. Now I am gonna come in and I am going to cut back some of the growth on this plant. It's budded up. It has been in this plant can for a couple of months now, waiting to be planted. But what we're gonna also do is we are going to uh, do a little bit of maintenance on some of this blanket flower, okay? So for this container, we're not gonna be starting off with a ton of blooms and that's okay. Because the place where it's going is plenty of blooms sitting there. And so occasionally when you have containers that you have to come in and do maintenance to, that's something that you wanna think about. If, you're already, if you already have a lot going on in your garden and it's hard to keep up with the work and everything, you wanna to try to choose plants that you don't have to do a lot of maintenance work on. So things like Supertunia, Superbena, or plants that self-bury themselves, those are the type of containers that you wanna be planting up. And if I turn this around, you guys, this is what the flower looks like. This is what the Gallardia looks like. That's the color of it. Nice contrast between this and the purple flower. And so, I can't wait to show you guys what these containers look like when they're in luxurious bloom. We'll definitely keep you guys updated on what these containers look like. Drop down in the comment box. And I just wanna know, do you guys use a slow release fertilizer when you're going in and you're planting up your containers? That's all I have for today, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys in the next one.